Hi, I'm Jim Clemmer. I've been in the training and consulting business now for almost 30 years and have worked with hundreds of organizations uh, around the world and especially with management teams. Uh, Moose on the Table is actually my sixth book. My other books uh, were a little bit more traditional textbook kind of approach but the Moose on the Table metaphor analogy I've been using for quite a number of years now and I find that it really connects with people in the organization. It's the whole idea that uh, there are issues, there are problems, that teams, groups in a meeting are sitting around a meeting room table and they're not really addressing them. Sometimes they're not even acknowledging that they're there. And so it's like there's this great big moose or sometimes people have called it elephant in the room. It's the same idea. There's this moose standing in the middle of this boardroom table, meeting room table, and people are pretending it's not there. They're passing things around its legs. They're looking around through and underneath the moose. The moose is eating off, moose, eating off of one end of the table. It's dropping moose pies off of the other end of the table. And everybody's doing their best to try to ignore it. But then, of course, when you leave the meeting, go out in the hallway afterwards, there's lots of conversation. Do you believe that, idiot? Can you? There's no way I would ever. And then the real authentic conversation happens. So with Moose on the Table, I've taken a novel approach, which means uh, using fiction, a story, tried to make it an edutaining, some fun, a uh, couple of twists and turns, but also really making it a composite of typical managers in, in many organizations who are going along to get along, as Pete Leonard, the central character, has been doing, and not really addressing many of the moose issues. And as a result, the organization is sinking deeper and deeper into problems and difficulties. So the book follows the twists and turns of first more of the cowardly, let's not really deal with these issues approach, and not communicating effectively. And then we begin to see what happens when a much stronger, more leadership approach is taken. Chapter one, running on empty. Here's where we really meet Pete Leonard, uh, the central character throughout the book, and we really get to know him. And we also get some sense of one of his philosophies that he's drifted into over the last couple of years is uh, going along to get along. And it leads him to some health problems, leads him to some self-medication habits that he's fallen into. Again, we can f see fairly easily how that can happen, and unfortunately, it's not an uncommon story. We see as well that Pete's tendency is to avoid conflict, to not really want to deal with, uh, with issues. And uh, so we get a bit of an inkling into how his failed first marriage uh, collapsed because of some of that. As well, uh, we can see how he's uh, gradually slipping uh, into uh, what I think of as a courage deficit by not really confronting issues. And of course, I'm not an advocate of we ought to really be tough and take on issues as such in, in a combative way, but by slipping away from them, by really running away from a lot of the issues as we see Pete doing, uh, he's really running on empty and uh, it's like he has um, it's let him down and uh, he's now trying to deal with the symptoms because he hasn't really gotten at root causes.